If you look at the pharma value chain, there are a lot of things starting from drug discovery to preclinical trial, clinical trials to manufacturing operations, sales and marketing. Uh, uh, then we have the, the stocks, uh, right, uh, supply chain distribution, etc. So for today, we would focus on sales and marketing and supply chain distribution. Uh, the second point is we are talking about ONDC, which is Open Network for Digital Commerce. So more on the digital commerce side, retail side, but hey, uh, industries learn from each other. So let's see what we can have because ONDC, what it's doing in the retail world is fantastic, right? It's bringing in democratization of e-commerce, decentralization of e-commerce, uh, helping the sellers uh, earn more, be more discoverable, be, the system is more transparent. And by the way, ONDC is not an application. It's not a software. It's not an intermediary also. It's a set of specifications supported by government that helps uh, create an open network. So, so we'll talk about how pharma can leverage this idea and how it can also benefit. So to start with, uh, I'm in the uh, talk about the opportunities in pharma industry because it's a big industry in India now, $30 billion plus industry. Uh, India has highest number of sites uh, approved by FDA next only to USA, right? So a lot of opportunity. I would like to hear your views on that. Thanks, you know, yeah, that's, uh, and these opportunities have, you know, been catapulted by, you know, uh, COVID, uh, thanks to COVID and, you know, uh, digital, which was thought to be a game changer, people were slowly adapting it. You know, suddenly it has now become a necessity and no longer an option. Uh, and when you call of digital, it is data, and data is an evidence. Now everything is now started revolving about you know, around that evidence. So it's the evidence-based marketing, and then essentially, you know, going to personalization and individualization of approaches, which is happening in way. So if you look at even the customers, physicians nowadays, you know, they they anticipate now that the scientific content which comes to them or a brand promotion is, is very interactive, intuitive, in a very summary format, the crisp format, which comes from a credible source and which they can, you know, have it at their own convenience in real time. So something like Netflix, like an experience, you know, if I've liked something, I should see more of, of it, you know, so more of iteration, which is there. So the entire marketing is going through a change where it was more of a push, where the rep is going and asking for a demand. It's like, and digital is more of a pull-based approach, which is there. Now, getting into the pull-based approach, you know, it gives off opportunities for analytics, where you have data, you have analysis, and also you have opportunity to now find out what the doctors are, you know, reading, what they are liking it, you know. So you can develop some perceptual maps, you know, from the social uh, uh, listenings, the social networks, social fit footprints is there. And all those inputs now can get triangulated with your face-to-face -face interaction. So you have a, uh, you know, a mirror, uh, you can say a digital mirror to also look into it uh, for your customer and see what is uh, his preferences are. And that's the reason. You now you see, you know, most of the pharma companies are actually getting into analytical mode. You know, there's so much of, you know, new talks which are coming up, data analysts, you know, and because there is a need to, you know, now get that data into a nice visualized dashboard, you know, because otherwise it's a raw data and it's available in so many. So how do you bring that data, you know, which is from integration from the field, which they are putting it in their CRM, the medical device, the medical affairs people, what they are putting into it, your put a key account people are putting, and come up with a universal, you know, source of truth, you know, where, you know, people can look into it and say what exactly is happening into it. So this is a change, more and more data, which is going to come into it. You require more of such kind of, you know, data analytics coming into it. And I'm sure post going further, you will start using those data to find out some patterns and trends with the help of artificial intelligence and machine learning which will then guide the rep for the next best action so mm -hmm. you know you already have so much of happening in chat gpt you know where you like it you type it and you know 
it gives you a script you know so i'm sure there's going to be uh, you know a, a little similar version where a rep is going to say hey i'm going to meet this doctor and you know what should i do and that there is a list of prompts which comes to them you know through an artificial intelligence which has been analyzed at the back end by you know algorithms uh, for the data which has been fed into it mm-hmm. and i think that's how it's the strategic alignment and new policies and promotion things will go on so that's at the marketing side and you know. but at the similar time if you look at it you know, what's happening at the patients you know the end users which are there and you know uh, india is privileged that you know due to uh, cheaper smartphones you know we i think we have the maximum number of mobile users a recent survey said that we have around 78 million mobile user bases there and average time spent is around 5 to 6 hours so that is an immense opportunity when it comes to digital and i'm sure it's going to get even more better with 5g connectivity which is getting rolled up into it uh-huh. patients also if you look at they are looking into for some kind of a smart sensors or real time analytics of the data monitoring with their fitbit and smartphones which are coming into it so the entire mind shift changes now towards prevention and wellness and and mm-hmm. you know and that's exactly changing the approach of uh, the entire pharma industry also so you have preventive wellness approach self diagnosis kit we have seen during the covid times self medication is on the rise because you have google dr google thanks to it and so and so mm-hmm. forth it's going to get even smarter and at the same time even because your new drugs are not getting discovered because there is you know patent cliff and many patient patents are going to get expired in next 3 4 years so it brings opportunities for personalized or new drug delivery system what you call into it you know so mm-hmm. patches self injectors inhalers you know subcutaneous injections anything you know self dissolving strips nano based liposomal formulation so which is which is more convenient and it's more you know uh, personal to you know apply it you don't have to be dependent upon on someone i think that is going to be a next big opportunity is like where the similar formulations are coming up into a different uh, you know delivery systems mm-hmm. and uh, i think again next opportunity which i see which is parallelly happening is is your health records so people do understand that you know when you have the convenience of emails nobody is writing emails nobody is having those you know papers to it why to hold your you know health files you know in that file folder so why not it should be on cloud so the entire digitalization of the health records the hospitals are becoming smarter mm-hmm. and it so it opens up another plethora of opportunities where you know people are now started asking for value because they see that data is a valuable thing because you can get insights similarly now they are also looking into values when it comes to healthcare and then mm-hmm. there are opportunities which are being explored people want medical concierge kind of a services we have pristine which is you know doing the some similar kind of services people are also asking for financial planning assistance when it comes to healthcare because it's expensive out of pay pocket uh, even for filing for reimbursement you know there are uh, companies which are now helping in you know getting those filings done for insurance because insurance is also getting liberalized uh, people want to analyze their own data you know for example if there is a ecg I want to interpret it myself. I don't have to depend upon a doctor. So you know there are agencies which are not trying to decipher that information in a very, very you know uh, layman, simpler language. Mm-hmm. Why? What ECG means? What this PQRST means for you? You know because they would like to do that and they want to empower themselves. You know uh, in terms of their own health. Right. And you have those. you know even personalized health coaches and apps which are there for diabetes and so and so forth what are you eating what are you exercising and all that stuff and then there's a teleconsultation so there's a lot which is happening a lot of opportunities which are happening at, at sales marketing and so and so for the entire gamut which you just said you know from drug discovery but let's keep our focus on uh, sales and you know uh, the marketing part of it now that brings to the supply chain or distribution so if you if you if your two p's or you know conventionally what four p's are there so if your two p's are becoming digital why why not the the you know distribution you know which is your place promotion or distribution is a sub part of uh, that uh, lever which is one of mm-hmm. that so you know you have that logistic intermediaries which have come in which you want to build you know value in the supply chain 
Mm-hmm. Now, when I say value in the supply chain is that if you look at you know, the conventional was you have a subscriber business, you have a you know key account business. You know. Mm-hmm. But even now, if you go into key accounts, there is so much of categorization which has happened into it. You know, you have corporate chains, you have independent hospitals, you have governments which are there within government. You have railways, army, CGHS, ESI, which is categorizations. So you have institutes, ONGCs, which have a different pattern of purchase. You know, and distribution. You know, you have this Ayushman Bharat and Ayush Janushadi stores. The government has also become digitalized, so you have. government goe which is you know uh, uh, digital bidding online bidding uh, when it comes to purchase state has come very aggressively in terms of uh, so they have become one more uh, you know you can say intermediaries when it comes to buying you know they want to buy it and then distribute it you know uh, it's it's a political uh, health has become a political uh, vote bank also you know mm-hmm. so yeah. you know states like assam kerala rajasthan they are way ahead you know e pharmacies have suddenly you know we see that chemists have also started getting aggregated you know so your local chemists you know you have made their own local app you know some uh, uh, there was some news in the gujarat or for that matter even auto uh, you know uh, drivers in in bangalore they had their own uh, app to yeah, you know, yeah. fight with those uh, uber and similarly chemists have come their own, own app and then there are those dispensing doctors chemists in the rural areas subscription based healthcare is something which is again new thing which has come into it you know where is it's a close group between the insurance uh, you know and the healthcare providers which could uh-huh. be doctors as well as uh, the pharma medicines where you you subscribe to that particular insurance and then it is a close network you only go to those particular hospitals and then you get those particular medicines uh-huh. uh, so third party influences like i said insurances disease specific they have come up into they have a cancer specific insurance or non chemical uh, non communicable diseases kind of insurances which are there and then pharma does have direct to patients where they could do patient support programs and healthcare and home and remote monitoring so if you look at into it you know there is layers of you know in terms of distribution in terms of markets which is you know being created at every level and which needs to be you know satisfied 